Please fasten your seatbelt. Candy? Nice. Candy? Please put it on. Oh. I'm so sorry, sir. I am so clumsy. It's okay. You should be careful, sweetie. This flight is carrying precious cargo. Precious cargo? Well, isn't it obvious? You. My God, your hands are so soft. Do you use special hand lotion? The air on the plane is very dry, so we use moisturizers. I'd like to feel them again. Sir, please take your seat. We're taking off soon. I'm supposed to tighten my seatbelt, right? But guess what? I forgot how to do it. Can you give me a hand? Tighten it. You're sitting on it. Just take it and put it in. I can't. My hands are busy. Isn't your top priority passenger safety? Go ahead. Tighten it. Tighten it. Your safety is our priority. That's right. I like it when it's tight. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure, sir. I like it when it's tight, I said. Tighten my belt. Thank you for choosing our airlines. You can thank me later. Sir? Where's that sexy waitress with the soft hands? What do you mean, sir? Well, the one that was handing out candy before we took off. You know, the hot one. Samantha. Yeah. Uh, she's busy at the galley now, sir. Listen, is she, uh, is she always so cold? I mean, standoffish. Doesn't she ever let her hair down? You know, relax. She's so hot, man. That uniform. Man, it would look great on my floor. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand you. Sir, sir, what are you doing? Where are we right now? Huh? Where are we? On the plane, sir. Yeah. You know something strange about this plane? No, sir. See the empty seats? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You know why they're empty? No, sir. Because I bought them all. I bought them because I can afford to buy them. Adam, if I want something, I get it. And right now, I want something. And I intend to get it. When this plane lands, I'm going to be meeting with the owner of this airline. I'm gonna be your new boss. Adam, you don't want to disappoint your new boss. Do you? No, sir. Then you get me a day with Samantha. You find me a nice cozy corner. Yes, sir, but, but I can't. I just can't. Wedding ring. Kids? Yes, two, sir. Two kids. I love kids. Adam, you don't want to go home, face your family, face your kids. You don't want to end up penniless. No, sir. Well, then. You get me a date with Samantha, you set us up, you find me a corner where we can be intimate, and uh, maybe I'll get you a bonus at the end of the month, huh? I guess you, sir. Good. Oh. And tell her to bring that hand lotion. Tell her it's magical. Okay, sir. Hey, Samantha, listen. Uh, um, there's a man in the front seats. Uh, no. Don't even start. He said he wants to see you. No, and a minute. Adam, it's disgusting. I understand. Look, he's our passenger, and we take care of our passengers. So now, pull yourself together, go there, and talk to him, okay? Okay, send Mitchell. Where's Sam? No, you do that. Why? Because I said so. Don't forget that I'm your boss. So do what you gotta do. Thank you, Adam. You, of all people, know what flight attendants go through every day. And if you send me to that pervert, it makes you no better than he is. In fact, I'm gonna call the captain now. Hey, listen to me now. You need my recommendation for promotion. And if you don't do what I say, you'll be serving men just as nasty as he is for the rest of your life. Got it? And take your hand cream with you.
You wanted to see me. Hey, Samantha. Yeah. Let's not have a seat. No, thank you. I'll stand. I have work to do. Come on, I wanted to apologize. Have a seat. Come on. Have a seat, Samantha. You know, Samantha, I might have been a bit aggressive. A little bit rude, a little bit forward at the beginning. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. You know, maybe I should have been a little bit more gentle with you. Did you bring the cream? Huh? Did you bring the cream? Oh, I feel so nice. Mm. You know, Samantha, you must think I'm a, I'm a nasty man with a dirty mind. Huh? And you know what? You're right. I'm not just a nasty man with a dirty mind. I'm a powerful nasty man. One word from me, and you could lose your job. You'll be on the street, penniless. But I also have a soft side, a good heart. And I could actually help you climb the corporate ladder. So what's it gonna be? Have you ever heard of the Mile High Club? Please don't do this, Samantha. I can make a crew chief. Why don't you put on some lipstick and meet me in the galley, okay? I'll be there soon. Go. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. What are you, nuts? You've lost your mind. You lure me into this galley, then you dump water on me? I'm going to make sure you never work as a stewardess ever again, or even a passenger. I'm putting you on the no-fly list. Do you understand me? And expect a call from my lawyer. Harassment lawsuit. Got it? But you're the one harassing me. Who's going to believe a stupid bimbo stewardess? Enjoy your last flight. And then, and then, and then that tramp, mm -hmm. that trash, you know what she does? She throws water in my face. Why? Because I asked for some, some peanuts? Can you believe it, Mr. Morgan? Well, it's, it's great that you decided to check in on your employees before you became their manager. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I went through a lot on that flight. It was difficult. Yeah. Uh, no, send her in right away and have her bring a bottle of water. So, what happened? She just went crazy on you? She just threw water on you for no reason? Insane. She went insane. I, I, I mean, berserk. Well, seriously, you know, Mr. Morgan, we cannot have girls like that working for this airline. We can't do it. We gotta let her go. And anybody else like that. Yeah, well, you know, your new job as regional manager is to handle these kinds of conflicts. Right. So let's get started. Let's just jump right in, shall we? Great. Great, so here's your chance to meet your abuser face to face. Samantha? Yeah, Samantha Morgan. What, she's your daughter? Like, come on, how's this? Yes, Derek. So what? You're not so nasty and powerful anymore? Still want me to put cream on your hands? Or should I tighten your seatbelt for you, sir? Samantha, Ms. Morgan, what, 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 why didn't you just tell me? I would have stopped immediately. Oh, really? I don't need my father to fight all my battles for me. I can take care of myself. 
Men like you think women have no strength. We're weak. That just because we bring you a drink, you own us. You know, I see men like you every day. You ask us to put your bag over her head just because you want to check us out. You hit on us just because we smiled at you when you got on the plane. My goodness, you're pathetic. But you know what? Those days are over. You know why? Because we're sick of it. And we're gonna fight back. Miss Morgan, no see What? What? Please, I, 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 I beg you. I, I, I'll never do it again. I promise I'll never do it again. That's right. It's not gonna happen again, Derek. If I have anything to do with it. What, are you stupid? Don't you know who I am? I'm your new boss. And I'll make sure you never fly again. Not as a passenger, and not as an employee. Hell, when I'm done with you, you'll be lucky to get near an airport. Now you're officially on the no-fly list. And moreover, you'll be hearing from my attorney about a lawsuit for harassment. Goodbye, Derek. I hope you enjoyed your last flight. Mr. Stanton, where are you gonna pay us? Tomorrow. When are we going to get paid? We need to pay our food, our rent. We need our paychecks, Mr. Stanton, right? Yeah. Don't, don't sit around like this. Get up, people, go to work, go to your places. Get out of here, I don't wanna ever see you again. Tomorrow, everything will change. Tomorrow, you won't recognize yourself. <laughs>